Yeah, yeah, it's cold out today. Is my face frozen? Oh yeah, got the snotsicles going on. Probably should have brought some traction today. It's a little bit icy out here. Today we're out here on my local trails, just north of Boston in Massachusetts, uh, to talk about cold weather running. I've got some tips and tricks I wanna share with you from experiences I've had up here in the Northeast. Uh, it gets cold around here. I'm sure it gets cold where you are too. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd share what I've learned in this harsh environment along the way. Ah, running on this bridge is so loud, it's super crunchy. Okay, we're back in the snow. It's a very cold day for a run. It is one degree Fahrenheit. That's right, one degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Celsius. Uh, it's very cold. On top of that, it's actually a little bit windy today. I'm in the trees, but there are some exposed areas. I think with the wind chill, it actually feels more like 15 below zero Fahrenheit. Again, I don't know what that is Celsius, but yeah, it's cold AF. So first I wanna shout out a quick disclaimer. This is just stuff that works for me. You know, the, the layering system I use, this is the stuff that works for me. It may not work for you. If you run colder or hotter than me, you may need to adapt your strategy. The first thing I wanna talk about is layering for a cold weather run. And you know, it's a very personal thing how you layer for a run. But for me, I like to err on the side of caution. So I typically, wear more layers than I need. And what I mean by that is, I'll typically wear a base layer, a mid layer, and then an outer shell. Today, I've actually got a base layer, two mid layers, and then this outer shell. So my base layer today is actually a Nike, I forget what kind of shirt it is, but it's a Nike running shirt, typically worn in the summer. That's my base layer. On top of that, I have a Nike long sleeve shirt that's just a uh, running long sleeve t-shirt. On top of that, I have the Path Projects Pyrenees shirt. That's a long sleeve hooded shirt. And then on the top layer here, I've got the Patagonia Houdini jacket. And this is a wind shell. So that's my layering strategy for the top of my body. The lower half of my body is kind of the same, but I don't have to worry about my legs as much because they don't get as cold. So typically for my legs, I wear a uh, pair of tights, like a really thin pair of base layer tights. And then on top of that, I have a thicker pair of uh, kind of fleece lined tights. Now keep in mind, this layering strategy is only for super, super cold days like today. Like on a 30 degree day, I wouldn't dress like this. It's really only for the coldest of days. Ooh, that wind, that wind is cutting through everything I'm wearing. All right, let's talk about footwear now. So today I'm wearing the Ultra Olympus shoes, which are not particularly de uh, designed for winter running, but they work well because they've got a nice thick uh, midsole, so it insulates you from the ground. And then inside of that, I actually got two pairs of socks. So I've got a pair of Inji Inji socks that are kind of thin. And then on top of that, I'm wearing a nice thick pair of wool socks. Something to keep in mind when you put on socks and shoes for a cold weather run is you want to leave your shoes kind of kind of loose, not super loose, but loose enough. And the key behind that is similar to skiing or any other activity is you wanna have a good amount of blood flow to your feet. So if you really cinch them down, uh, you're gonna cut off the blood flow to your feet and that'll make them much colder right off the bat. In terms of gloves, today, like I said, I'm wearing the Outdoor Research heated gloves. You don't have to wear heated gloves. A nice thing to do though, is maybe if it's a very cold day like today, go ahead and pack yourself some chemical hand warmers and you can buy those at any hardware store, Home Depot, anywhere. Uh, the chemical hand warmers are clutch. I throw them in my pocket because you never know. If you start to get way too cold out here, you wanna have a way to warm up and those chem warmers are amazing. You can put them in your shoes, you can put them in your gloves. It's a really nice thing to have. And finally, let's talk about what I'm wearing on my head today for this cold weather run. Uh, I typically like to wear a power stretch beanie, which is a really thin uh, beanie for running because it prevents you from sweating too much. But like I said, today is crazy cold. So I'm wearing my outdoor research hat that I typically reserve for ice climbing. This has a fleece lining and it's double layered. So it's nice, nice and warm. 
And on top of that, I've also got a buff around my neck that I can pull up around my face if I feel a little bit cool, too cold on my face. Uh, it's a nice thing to have. And when you have it on your neck, it's a nice gate for your jacket. It keeps the heat inside your jacket uh, so you're not losing all of that heat. And if I need to, I can take this off and vent a little bit. And the nice thing about layering, what's very important about layering, is that I, I can always lose a layer. I can take off, you know, uh, the jacket or I could unzip it to vent out a little bit and dump some of that heat. And, you know, it's flexibility. Whereas if I had one big thick jacket, all I can do is either have it on or off. It's all about having layers like an onion. You can peel off what you don't need or add what you need. I'll have all of the stuff I'm wearing today linked down below in the description if you want to see exactly what I have on me. And if I forgot something, which I probably did, I'll make sure to link that down below as well. Boy, I tell you what though, that sunshine certainly feels nice when I'm not in the trees. It's good to get a little bit, a little bit of warmth out of the sun. You always have to come back for the camera. Got a couple of more cold weather tips for you while you're out here in the frigid temperatures. One trick I've learned over the years, uh, I like to call the windmill. And this again comes from my experience in ice climbing. So if your hands start to get super cold, you do something like this. You look a little crazy, but it does work. And what this does is actually forces the blood into your hands and your fingertips and you'd be surprised how well that works. Unfortunately, that trick does not work for your feet. So my other tip is uh, don't stop moving. <laughs> Even if you're walking, it's better to walk and uh, you know, keep moving rather than stop. Like on today's run, I've been stopping a lot to talk to the camera and I can't do that because it's way too cold to be sitting around without a big puffy jacket on. I do love the winter. I do love uh, snow and skiing and ice climbing and all the activities that we get with the changes of seasons. But sometimes I do wonder what it's like to live in a year round warm climate like Southern California or something like that. Because man, motivation in the winter can be really challenging. You know, lacing up the shoes on a day like today. Yeah, it takes a lot. If it's super cold where you live, I'd love for you to comment down below and leave your tips and tricks on what you do to stay warm and comfortable in these kinds of temperatures because I'm still learning and I'm just sharing what I've learned so far but if you've got a trick up your sleeve I'd love to hear it. What's funny is when my face gets super cold, I start slurring my words because I can't articulate to my mouth as much as I want to. So uh, sorry about that. Yeah, so this kind of stuff could use some micro spikes for this because uh, basically on an ice skating rink at this point. out there all right friends we just got back to the car got a nice five mile run in today i definitely could have gotten more mileage in today but i gotta get home because my wife is going out and i'm on dad duty today i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did maybe give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more videos from me in the future we got a lot coming up on the channel some very exciting things coming up in the next couple of weeks next month or so i think you're gonna be pretty excited so make sure you hit subscribe thumbs up, do all the things, comment down below. Like I said before, let me know where you're running, what kind of temperatures you're running in, and any cold weather tips and tricks you might have, uh, share those with us because I think myself and everybody in the comments might appreciate it. Ah, my nose is running all over the place. This video is gonna be super gross. All right, that's all I've got for this one. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.